Hey everyone, so this is going to be a check-in for this week. We're going to discuss the Aquarius new moon that we've just had and the energies are very potent. Um, Aquarius season, which takes us up to the 18th, 19th of February. Um, Uranus going direct, which is today. And just an energy check-in for your signs as well. Now, if you're new to my channel, I welcome you to my channel and I would love for you to subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment and let me know. And let me know how you're feeling. Uh, the reason I say this is because usually around a new moon, as the energies change and it's definitely a change from Capricorn to Aquarius, I usually feel really good and like, fiery and I'm ready to take action but I actually feel there's a bit of heaviness around this and I think it's not only me I feel like some of us might be feeling it um, usually this feeling is I feel these feelings tend to come forward for us around full moons when we just feel like we need to release and purge so i'm not sure if you're feeling the same some of you will feel like the shift of uh, actually you know you actually feel a lot better so it'll be interesting to know how you feel um before we kick into it i like to do my things straight to the point so i don't take time to get to the point if i see something channel something then i'll get through through it straight away i don't pull i don't continue to go around in a story if i'm doing for example tarot or something i also like to empower you to position it into a certain area so um, I, if i feel that it's love i will directly say it's love if i feel that it could be or it could apply to multiple areas in your life i will say where you'd like to position it in this reading there won't be much tarot unless i find there's time for that if not there'll be an all signs coming up in your february readings now a couple of days ago you'll find there's elemental readings for your signs so if you're a taurus it'll be an earth there's water there's cancer if you're a cancer there's water if if you're for example gemini in air and if you're let's say sagittarius you're fire so check those out because they're very relevant um i do channel quite a bit there will be um, time stamps for your signs. So if I do in individual, I think, I think for the new moon and energies this week, I'll give you an indication um, of what energies might you might be feeling. Um, and I'll pull a couple of tarot cards, but I won't go into much clarification. And then I'll also, um, when we discuss Aquarius season, for your signs it'll probably be you'll be clubbed into like mutable cardinal fixed uh, signs so um, i'll also time stamp that but it stay tuned because obviously um you might resonate to different energies that are going on right now and um do check shorts out because i tend to do interim like one-off messages or channeled messages that might be specific to you so this this basically will have a bit of a, quite a bit of astrology in it um, because of the positionings we're looking at now if we look at um the moon new moon that we've just had in aquarius aquarius obviously we had a um we started on the 20th so a day before the new moon which is interesting um anytime we're talking about aquarius it's all about innovation it's 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 a pleasant welcome to all the turbulent turbulent energy that we've been having for the past couple of months um, some of us might have felt like, yes, I'm ready to get this, and then some days defeated. It really depends as well where you are at life, but it's been a bit turbulent. This super new moon was also called a dark moon because you couldn't see it, so it, it was quite covered. Um, but it's it was closest to the earth 
um, than it's been for 1,000 years. It's a potent energy that you need to take advantage of. If you did, great. If you don't, you still got a couple of days um, of taking advantage. And that could just be having time for yourself. It doesn't have to be manifestation. And um, it's not too late to take that time for yourself in intention of the new moon and new energy. Um, rituals can be recommended. I don't like to use the word magic because I'm a light worker. The effects of the new moon can be felt and harnessed, obviously, three days before and three days after. Um, I think because we're moving into Aquarius, you're going to feel this energy continuing for this week as well. So don't think you've lost time to uh, manifest, put intentions. You've also, your intention can also be for Aquarius season or a shift of what you want to do right now. The, the theme is realignment and rebirth as we come out of these retrogrades. And that re rebirth and realignment doesn't necessarily mean that's Aquarius. It's because we're coming out of these retrogrades. Like I said about Uranus, I'll go into that in a moment. Um, you can take a fresh breath of air. The new beginnings, fresh starts, are now available to us. Um, it's, it, there's a radical energy and there's no limit that you should put on your what you want and what you're trying to achieve. It's a time to shed the old skin shift the mindsets, release and heal programming that doesn't that doesn't align with you anymore. And the biggest theme I would say for this season is really being your authentic self. Being anything else is not going to work anymore. I think there's a big, uh, from what the energies that I'm actually feeling, I think there's a big shift that you need to flow right now. Um, not control anything I think and that's where if I look at it I think that's where the testing is of probably frustration or feeling defeated um, so in terms of your individual signs I will go on to that in a moment I just want to discuss Uranus um, so I'm sure you would have heard of Uranus because it's the big sort of changer and if anyone says about earthquakes they think of maybe Saturn or Uranus. Now Uranus was has been retrograde in Taurus since August last year um, and while its influence is not blatantly obvious it doesn't carry the notorious reputation of Mercury or Mars retrograde. The these electrical planets rewind, um, but Uranus does have an underlining powerful effect. Um, Uranus jaunt, jaunt, jaunt in Taurus has impacted our finances, uh, material comforts, and even maybe controversy amongst um, families, you know, um, and these could be well-known or royal families. Uh, I also believe being retrograde in Taurus means um, a feeling of not a lack of stability on our 3D and that could be finances, um, home. Because of the unorthodox planet, um, it wants to break from the past. Um, it's com unconventional, progressive and revolutional. Uranus oversees change and it can be very impulsive change as well. It not only rules transformation, but specialty in switching things up in a flash. Um, so when Uranus hits its cosmic breaks, creating change in a rush, it's not going to be easy. In fact, it might be downright impossible. But now Uranus is moving direct and forward again. This helps us. It's not going backwards. There's not hopefully going to be any um, upcoming 
you know, you can also hear of like earthquakes during a retrograde backwards motion of it. Um, but what will you rebel against to gain greater personal freedom and progress as Uranus is now direct? So that's great. And in general, all planets are now direct um, or will be this month, which is really good because it gives us the momentum. Now, with the astrology, I'm going to use the tarot cards for each sign and we'll start with Aries. <clears throat> So Aries, as per astrology, I mean, it, it, it's about communication. And here I've got the Knight of Cups. So it, it does align um, communication, speaking your truth, um, living your truth and self-love with that cup is important for you within this week and possibly ongoing throughout Aquarius season. We'll check back in in our next reading. Taurus. Taurus, you're the Ten of Wands, and what I did have is um, releasing past and heavy burdens, and this is really aligned. Also, the end of any hardships around financial or career, um, and releasing, like I said, the past. Possibly staying positive and fun is really needed for you in this energy. So that's, that's good. Gemini. Gemini, in your readings, I think there's a shift of moving into different chapter, and I'm getting that as well now. You've got the Queen of Cups. You've had that in your readings um, a couple of times. So with you, there's something around communication and closing out this cycle, moving into the next chapter, but honouring yourself while you're doing that. Maybe a bit of discipline and routine is, is, is good for you right now. Um, cancer. Emperor. Um, I think with this cancer, you're getting realigned. And as the astrology, it's to embrace change. Um, 808 might be significant in terms of numbers for you. Intuition could be strong at this time with the energy of the new moon. And getting realigned is also a caring theme for you. Leo. Leo, yeah, nine of, uh, nine of swords. So that's more or less releasing blocks um, and heavy burdens. And also planting new seeds and dreams. Um, re after this, it's rejuvenation. So that's definitely coming in for you, releasing this energy. Virgo, 818 could be significant for you. Six of Cups. So... Um, with the Six of Cups, you are um, overcoming something. And I also feel there needs to be some detoxifying uh, in an area of your life. This could be people, it could be your own health. And perseverance is really important. If you've got an important decision to make, you could be contemplating around that. Libra. This jumped out straight away. Ace of Pentacles, what a beautiful card. Um, a new start is coming in for you. And if it's around, if you've been waiting around financial career, a home, um, this is a reward coming to you around those elements. Um, I also feel there's a new start for you with this. And, or you've just started something very new, but there's something significant coming through 
and I feel that it's very healing for you. Um, there's, I feel you're also a bit in heightened emotions at the moment. So, um, but lovely card for you. Scorpio, Hermit. I do, sorry, five, five of cups. So I did feel this a little bit. There's about, looking down, you're not happy with something, okay? But I also, I'm not sure if this is the need to release your pride and ego a little bit. Um, build your self-esteem, self-love, and trust in spirit, God, the universe, whatever you believe in, and flow at this moment in time. Sagittarius, the Three of Swords. Let's talk about this. I feel this Three of Swords is you releasing past and denial. I also feel in the fire signs, I got um, that you might be in a bit of a argument or something that's upsetting you with somebody, okay? And I think this is about overall energy, releasing denials, past, but I also feel that you're getting a breakthrough of professional advancement. So it's a promotion, a new job, a raise. Um, and I think there's an element here of recognizing your worth that is really important. Capricorn, lovely card Capricorn, Nine of Cups. It's a bit of your energy as well. Um, no, it's not, sorry, it's not. <laughs> but with this, I feel like you, I feel like it's your energy. When I said no, it's not, I mean like it's not the King of Pentacles. It's not the representation, but I feel you in this energy. And what I feel by that is, an enlightenment of recognition, um, having a bit more faith in your dreams. And also, I've been talking about a healing journey for you, and I feel like this is saying that you're there, more or less. We're always healing, but there's more heavier energies that need healing sometimes. But there's definitely professional advancement and attained here and there's an advancement of profession it could be again like Sagittarius rise and promotions um, and it's a restored faith in your dreams Aquarius embodying um, the air energy obviously for you it's new um, new uh, new cycle in life new beginnings moving on um, trusting in divine timing, but also with this, I feel there's a need to be perseverant, okay? It's interesting that you've got the King of Swords, so you're actually standing in your honour there of your own energy too. Pisces, Ten of Cups, positive mindset, getting a happily, happy home, something's coming through for you, um, and it's an overall achievement you've been waiting for that fills your heart with joy. And this could be just you starting to honour your emotions that puts you in a high vibing place of prioritising yourself, um, a positive mindset and now taking action. But there's an achievement here of a completion. Now, please do apply these to your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs because it's going to be very important during um, the energy of this week. Now, if we go to Aquarius season. Now, Aquarius is really about people. It's about community. It's being about it's being your authentic self. Um, it's not hiding in the shadows. It's really just honoring who you are and your direction of where you need to go. It can be quite a heavy 
it can be also quite a heavy mental energy because it's air energy it's your mind it's your thoughts aquarius also tend to be quite deep people deep individuals and they will say stuff that um maybe not everyone will resonate on or with um but it's definitely going to shift more in March where Pluto goes into um, a, 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 a Aquarius. So we're going to see on, on, on the um, world level, collective level, a lot of change. There's going to be change around artificial intelligence and tech. That's um, a lot. And I feel with that, there will be fear that comes along. But Aquarius season is really connecting on to yourself and to others on a deeper level throughout this coming month. Um, break away from heavy emotions and the start to feel part of ourselves again is really important. We're moving forward now in a dynamic. Um, and... It's all about fresh, clean, prosperous, aligned, rebirth and the importance of knowing how we help each other um, and how, you know, it's not about authorities or governing authorities ruling the world and us just following now. It's about us aligning with each other and helping create the path that we need for each other so with that let's dive into like i said for this energy or seasons i often like to do based on cardinal fix because immutable so the signs that we'll be feeling the most this week i would say is those that have aquarius one degrees in their charts and Aquarius, Leo, Taurus and Scorpio, especially in your top placements. If you have heavy placements of those in general, you will also feel it quite heavily. So if we start off with Aquarius, Leo, Taurus and Scorpio, fixed signs. There's definitely something about leaving behind leaving something behind once and for all and as i say that the eight of cups can you see the walking behind so it's helping you this energy walk on leave it behind um just because it's been very emotionally draining and heavy And as I say that, we've got the nine of wands, which is you've advanced, you've advanced, you've put in the work, you've been very active to put in the work. Uh, Page of Pentacles, yeah. So prepare to feel uh, brand new in the best possible way. Um, and yet, that's the main messages for you as cardinals. I'd say you're ready to leave something behind. That's been very emotionally draining and heavy on the action you've taken within life. But there's an advancement here that you have received and are getting and you're preparing for a completely new, brand new, in the best possible way. You might have felt this a bit slow, but it's coming in. Um, and this could mean that some of you are relocating, but the overall is that you're coming to the completion of happy home, happy life, happy emotion, emotionally within yourselves. So that's beautiful cards, cardinal. Um, let's pull another one.
I put the Ten of Cups back, but here we go. So I want, the reason I said I wanted to pull another one is I wanted to discuss that a bit more. And this, the Hanged Man came up as I went through it. So still on a Taurus, Leo, a Scorpio, Aquarius, fixed signs. Um, I feel with this, there might be a focus on relationships this month. With the Aquarius season, we said it's about relationships and, and the people around us. Um, it could be that you start to set boundaries in certain relationships. Okay, and it could also mean that you decide to take them to the next level of possibly marriage, living together, having a new baby, just an advancement in your relationships is what I'm also getting. Um, it could also mean that a new love comes in. You're making new friends as part of a community and collaborating with like-minded people. Three of Cups, as I'm saying, and just channeling. Um, I also feel like you're entering, like I said, a new era of life, judgment. Um, that you feel more mature and I see you becoming more confident in yourself, in your parents, in your ideas, in your own sort of judgments and intuition. Um, so I, I think that's really sums it up for you cardinal signs, what it should be and looks like an amazing season for you to be honest. Um, I think let's go on to mutable. Sagittarius, Gemini. Pisces and Virgo. So I was going to say for Seven of Wands, I was going to say there's going to be a solution to a challenge you've been dealing with. Some adjustments could be required here first though. Um, you could Nine of Cups. The reason I'm looking at my cards is because I want to make sure I've shuffled them properly. Because I feel there is a need to recharge yourself as well. Ace of Wands, something's coming in. There's definitely an energy that's coming in. Um, this is what I was feeling. I feel there's a need for you to, um, the adjustments might be that you need to take time for yourself to recharge. Um, you are going through some big changes currently and don't undermine yourself of that. Um, I think there's a focus on your mental, physical and emotional health with this. Over the next month or so, I think, you need to focus and honor that and it's okay to say i'm having a crap day um you may be noticing certain things that make you uh want to take your health more seriously on all all levels um with this ace of wands i think it could be that you're planning a, a trip or planning a move, maybe you're feeling called to expand your knowledge um, and, and research a topic of interest. I still feel there's something coming through with this Ace of Wands. Yeah, new cycle for what, what you've been trying to achieve. Um, I'd also say pay attention to your dreams or any signs or spirit guides messages that you you are getting. Um, five, five, five could be significant with you with that full coming up. The King of Swords, very smart intellectual person um, and sharp with his words. So I, I, I feel like you are definitely getting, I definitely think you're getting something. There's, 
And the reason I said about listening to your intuition, because I think it's about listening to your gut that's going to make you reach this place. And then with the King of Swords, we've got this great council that can offer so much support. And by listening and being open and, and curious about something, this is going to come to the forefront. So um, it, it could be that topic of interest I said that you might be researching, but it seems like you also need to focus on your health a little bit. Uh, that does that by that I don't mean to I don't mean if you don't feel anything that you should be feeling something if you're feeling heavy or anything physical at the moment that's when you really need to take time out but watch yourself this month so let's move on to um cardinal signs which is aries cancer libra and capricorn there's something you're walking away from here um and i feel like it's you walking away and getting yourself back on track yeah back on track mentally and a, a new level of maturity that settles in I feel like you focus on your goals and new seriousness of focus on your goals and plan. Um, and with this, there's creativity and something's coming through. If you look, he's looking upon the horizon for what he's waiting for. And I think new op it's, it's, it's about embracing new opportunities and not being discouraged by anything that could be in your way. As I say that, the hanged man comes up. So don't be discouraged about anything that could be in your way. I feel triple eight could be significant for you over this next month. Um, but there is, there is an emphasis on the creation of a foundation for yourself and getting focused, which I feel is the energy you've got right now, on um, what you want to create, your goals, your financial abundance. Um, so four of pentacles, it could mean even saving up for important purchases, saving your money for you, your kids, your future, or just really re-looking into your finances at this time or making investments that could pay in for your future. Um, if you're not if you're not financially that stable, it could be just watch your money spending. Don't overspend. Um, I don't feel it's any of you that are holding on to your money too much, but if it is, don't be in a lack mindset. Um, you're going to find ways. I think over the next uh, over the next um, um, month to try and enjoy yourself. Um, a lot more this is for those of you that have been working hard and just have that mind frame that uh, working hard gets you your fruition i think this time you've got to you've got to make um time for yourself so if you're always in the house get out more i see you getting out a bit more doing new things if you're always working life is stressful and that's the way life can be but if you've around that mindset of, you know, you need to stick to a system of working hard and you're burning yourself out, I would say just watch yourself on that. I'm going to pull one last card. There could be a challenge where you need to be making a decision. And this could be around your abundance. It could be around, you know, um, just actually focusing on your own goals and what you need to do. Um, and getting clear with that. So that's for the um, cardinal signs, Aries, Leo, Cancer, and um, Capricorn. So um, that was really our cover of uh, sort of the week energies for the signs. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next reading where we'll pull out some more tarot and oracle cards, depending on the topic. And I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.